Good afternoon, hello, good morning. When you're feeling too messed up, too effed up, too many issues, too many uh, mental dramas going on, so you don't feel like you qualify to be a medium. I'm gonna smack this down. This is my strict German aunt persona coming out here uh, because this is just bullshit, all right? This work, this soul work, A, you've probably got a calling for it because who would want to do this work unless you had a calling? Because you know what? It's hard. It is. You know, I talked this morning about there's only two simple things. The two-step process to being a medium, A, turn up, have a connection to the spirit world and B, say whatever it is the spirit person tells you to say in a way that you get out of your way so they understand and you're doing it right by the spirit person. That's it. That is the two-step process of mediumship. Stand by that 100%. The tricky bit is, of course, having that connection and standing by it. And I had a, a conversation with somebody yesterday, someone I adore, someone I believe in 100%. I've worked with her before. She is a brilliant person. And um, she's going through a few hard times, some issues, some doing that soul growth that's so hard. But takes a lot of bravery to do and she's doing it but the thing is she's like oh, I don't think I'm ready to do this mediumship work yet and, okay that's great knowing that knowing that you need to go and do something need to go and work on yourself do something outsource it get some therapy see a counselor do tapping do journaling get a coach you know whatever it is work on yourself awesome but don't use it as an excuse not to be a medium, okay? If you've got this calling, and you'll know it, I can't tell you, only you will know this. If you've got this calling, you work it out as you go along. Because the medium you are is the person you are. And you come into this work, the whole package, right? With your issues, with your feelings of shit self-worth and you know your daddy issues or your mummy issues or you know your middle child issues whatever you've been adopted you've been abandoned you've been effed over a thousand different ways you come into this and that also gets worked on as you do this work because you do this through your soul so don't ever put off oh i'm too effed up to do this work or I've just got to go and work on myself for a while. Mm -mm. Come in here and do it. I've got the Soul Squad. It's my membership program. I've just finished my a rave in there about this. They turn up no matter what. They turn up and go, look, I've got this going on. But you know what? They turned up. They did it. So please, please, please don't put it off. If you're feeling this and you're feeling like, look, I'm really interested in the spirit world. I know I might have an ability here, I want to go find out, but you know, I'm dealing with, I'm in the middle of a shame storm right now. I'm dealing with, you know, COVID, I'm dealing with whatever, you know, guess what, we're all dealing with, this place nearly flooded. I was, we nearly got cut off the roads, we thought, that's it, we're stuck here until the roads go down. You know, shit happens, right? But you can still do this work because we will work it out together. You'll work it out as you go. Don't use it as an excuse. Don't put it off because you need to work on yourself. Guess what? We all need to work on ourselves. We're all doing it. I don't know anybody that isn't. Even people that have been doing this for 30 years, my tutors, my mentors, the people I absolutely respect and admire until the day I die and beyond, because <laughs> we don't die. They've still got stuff they're working on, but they turn up. So don't hide your light under some kind of potato bag of shit that you've got going on. Because A, we've all got it, and B, you can use it as a procrastination tool. Like, good, if you've got something, go work on it, great. Get the counselling, get the help, do whatever you, that you need to do. But don't use it as an excuse not to come and do what your soul wants you to do. Whether it's this, or being an artist, or a writer, or opening up an Instagram account, whatevs, don't use it as an excuse. Because that's when I will come along with my German strict aunt persona and kick your butt. 
because you're not being true to yourself you're not being true to your own soul you're not listening to it and my whole game is helping you listen to your soul and if that means i got to kick your butt so be it giving you back the power so you take charge of it you know what even though i'm in a whole shame storm right now and that's it i'm still going to do it hi recovering from the plague here. because my connection is really weird and i am in a beach town in Colbara and it's friday afternoon and i got a messy bum but i hope that helps i hope you feel your butt being a little bit kicked if that's what needed to happen i hope you feel validated for sticking in there and doing the hard work if you are already on this path you know what i'm talking about we still turn up don't we and if you can't turn up for you turn up for the spirit world turn up for the people that need you the spirit people that need you to work for them to get to their people that are grieving that want to hear from them because we need mediums of all different shapes and sizes like we need you guys we need the odd ones the weird ones the effed up ones we need all of you because the world's going to need mediums okay so i hope that's helped that's my rant for friday um i love 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 chatting to you as you know solar mediumship course is still enrolling we have about a week or so to go if you want to be part of this message me go find me you're on my email list you know where to find the link i'd love to welcome you in there ciao Bye.